Welcome to Draggers. We're here to show you this beautiful 1963 split window Corvette. Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Draggers International Classic Sales in Burlington, Washington. And I want to show you this beautiful 1963 split window Corvette. That's why I'm looking at the back to start with because that's the big feature on these 63 uh, Corvettes is the split window. And I'm holding a trophy too. You probably wonder why I'm holding a trophy. Well, I took it to uh, Anacortes, Washington, which is about 25 miles west of us here in Burlington. And they had a Corvette show going on. And I took it to the Corvette show and I came home with a trophy. A 1967 big block Corvette Roadster beat me out. But anyway, anyway, it's, it's a trophy winner already. Let's do a walk around on this 63 Corvette. Of course, you can look at the front of this thing, and, and, and I want to tell you, you look this car over really close. I didn't find any, you know, like you might see a crack in, the, in any of the fiberglass on this car. This, this car has had a great life. This, uh, you got the grills on there and everything. You can see how, how nice the chrome is on this, this car. I don't know of any bad spots in, anywhere in the body on this thing. And uh, it just, it's a great driving car. We'll, uh, Andrew, start it up for us so we can hear it run. Now that hasn't been started since yesterday. I think the first time we've started it today. Pop the hood. So I can touch, I can touch these exhaust manifolds right now. Because they're still cold. So you can see it's got the correct air cleaner on here. And it's all just really nice and clean. They've taken the fan off and put a cruise fan on here. And it, I think this is a little bigger radiator. It might even be aluminum radiator in there. So it's got more cooling. I bought this car out of Florida. So it's a hot weather car. It's got power booster. Uh, single master cylinder on it, just like the way it came and everything. It's got the guards on here like it's supposed to be, uh, the covers for the distributor, and you got it, the plug covers down below on both sides there. I mean, you just look how nice and clean this is underneath here. I, it's a beautiful car, and it's a split window, too. That's why I like to shut those it's down there. Back it up just a little bit. Does not have power steering. And people are adding power steering on these now that are like electric and stuff. Let's uh, see the headlights operate. You gotta turn the switch. There you go. High beam, low beam. There you go. Turn signals. And you see the turn signals work. How about the wipers? They're electric too, aren't they? So you can see that. I don't know if you're going to ever take this thing out in the rain and use it that way. Horn? Nothing there. Oh, oh, there it is. There it goes. The horn. It's got to push it in the right spot. Let's, <laughs> let's go down the side here. You can see it's got the knockoff wheels on here. I couldn't tell you if those are original or aftermarket. I don't know. I wouldn't know how to tell. So you can just see how clean it is. It it's sitting here running good. But look how how nice this body is. It's just everywhere you look, any there is no bad spots. It's all really good. And you you know and I, I sit here and I can look. I don't know if you can see this or not. You get in the right light. Those are the original, uh, original glass there where you can see the defogging or whatever you want to call it, delaminating it a little bit there. Look at the back end, the bumpers, all good. They all look good. So, tail lights, brake lights, turn signals. So you can see how it looks good. And again, all the way across. Gas tank, of course, is right here. Yep. You 
goes way down in there. I don't know if you can see. There's gas in there. Got to have gas or it wouldn't run. Oop, that closes nice. I mean, you can just look at this thing. It just, everything looks great on it. Look how, look how pretty this car is. These wheels all look nice. Got lots of rubber on here. Get red line or orange lines, I guess you'd call them, on there. And again, you can see inside here. This is a clean car. It just runs and drives great. No, I didn't close it quite hard enough. You see how nice the doors close? And you just look at this whole car. This really, really looks nice. I mean, everywhere you look on it. I, again, just like I said, you don't find any bad spots in here anywhere in the paint or anything. It all looks really good. The grill, everything looks really nice on it. You'll enjoy this car. Let's take a closer look at the interior of this Corvette. We'll fire it up here, turn the radio on. It's got an aftermarket digital radio that fits in the original slot there, but it plays well. See the clock runs, keeps time. I don't know if you can hear the, well I can hear it running, but you probably can't hear it, but the fan blows. And just, all the controls work, and they're kind of stiff, but they all work. The lighter even works. I just had it uh, pushed in. It won't stay in on its own, but it, it does get warm. I, I can feel the heat coming off. I don't want to get too close to my cheek, but anyway, all the gauges work. It's showing just about, I don't know, 40 pounds of uh, pressure at idle. And temperatures come up because we've been idling it here just videoing. Uh, it's not quite up to operating temperature, but it's just shy of 180 degrees. See the tack works. Um, the odometer is showing uh, 36,454 and we'll take this car down the road and show you it running and show you the speedo working but you can see the gas gauge works see, see we hit the brake there see the gauges bounce around and when we were doing the, the video outside showing the lights I was trying to push the regular headlight button down below here but it's all switched to the headlight switch, so you just pull that out and they pop right open. That's why there was a little delay, because I was holding that instead of opening the switch there. But anyway, everything seems to work. I don't think there's anything that does not work in here. So you can see we have this console in here. It's automatic. It comes back, but it, and it doesn't drop down. It drops off right there. It's where it drops off and goes back. So there is a little bit of difference in it between the 62 and the and the 63 but the original late model split windows go back straight back this is flat in here so if you look at several of them you'll see what I'm talking about you will not see very many like this at all this has not been changed this is factory it's just the way they came I was even told that the glove box is a little bit different than the early ones plus they have this other neat feature right here they have storage underneath Looking here. At it, but these only on the early '63 Corvettes do they have these uh, uh, storage areas underneath the seats, and, and it's quite a bit of room under them because I used them during the the uh, show. I, it was a good place to store underneath stuff here. here. In fact, look at there. I see there's a towel right there. Anyway, there's a storage box built into the frame, and if we look at the underside video of this car you will see these boxes built in there's a vent tag underneath the dash get a close-up of that that's the front of the block with the date stamp and the serial number of the uh, car stamped on the block so it's the correct block it matches the vent on the on the body so it's the correct engine we're going to go underneath the 63 split window Corvette for you to take a look at it and it's just like the rest of the car it's in really good condition we've looked it over I wouldn't say it's painted correctly 
uh, and I'm not an expert on Corvettes. I've had a lot of Corvettes over the years, but I've never been into judging them or anything like that. I'm, I always mainly look for condition and how nice they are. And this one is very nice car. Everything looks really good on it. I mean, you can look up in here underneath the fenders and all the fiberglass in there and, and up in here. Oop. Can't hit the tire like that. I mean, you can look everywhere you want to look on this thing. It looks good. You can see all the brakes on there, the U-joints. Leo could probably clean on those a little bit. He'd make those look better. But we're not probably going to do that. They're just fine. I mean, I drove this on a car Saturday to a car show over in, in uh, Anacortes, and it ran, drove just fine. even got a trophy with it and stuff. So it's a trophy winner. How's that? Anyway, you can see all this uh, framework under here is good and solid. Looks good. These are the uh, uh, storage bins right here underneath the driver's seat. We're already here. That's how close you are to the back wheels on this thing. You're looking at it. But these, only on the early 63 Corvettes do they have these uh, uh, storage areas underneath the seats. And, and it's quite a bit of room on them because I used them during the, the uh, show. I, it was a good place to store stuff you didn't want that you wanted out of sight. You can see the rockers, all the frame underneath there is all good and solid. You can see the fiberglass is good and solid. Exhaust system looks in really great shape. It all looks good. You can just see all this stuff in here. Uh, we have not serviced or safety checked this yet, and we've got to find out why this is not hooked up, but we'll get, get that working too, I think. We'll try to get that working. And you can see this is all painted up, the engine. I, I, I don't know much about this car, so f some of this stuff on here, but you can see it's got the spark plug guards and the plug wire guards underneath here. So, I mean, it's got everything like it's supposed to have. Uh, and I'm not, a, again, I'm not an expert on them, but I think it looks really good. It's really a solid car. You can just see the underside here looks all good. We're just putting extra light on here so you can see everything really well. You can just see everything looks clean. It's been uh, presented well. So you, this way you can see this side looking back. It all looks good and solid. It all looks great. You see all the fiberglass everywhere. I don't, you don't see any damage or anything. I don't see any frame damage anywhere. I don't see where it's ever been uh, crunched or anything. And if the miles are accurate, which we can't prove, you know, I would tell you 34,000 miles on it, it wouldn't show much wear on it or anything. I mean, it's really great shape. Just look at all that stuff. Anyway, we're just going back down. So these are where your feet set on the on both sides right there. And again, there's your storage uh, for the uh, under under the seats. And again, I've never seen that on a car. So I only use it in the early early there. We're gonna take this Corvette out on the freeway for you. I want to show you these windows here. I didn't. I tried to crank them down when they were filming on the outside, but these all crank open nice. Wing windows work good. I'm gonna close them though, so we don't have a lot of road noise. Anyway, this is a really enjoyable Corvette. It steers easy, runs well. It's nice to have an automatic transmission. Don't even have to think about it, just get in it and go. See the speedo coming up a little bit, it's showing about 10 miles an hour right now. We'll try to get it up to 70 on the freeway here on I-5. First, we're going to go on Highway 99. So it runs parallel to I-5. Go down to Cook Road, just north of us. 
and then head south on I-5. Go from one exit to the next. This is a strong running car. Steer's nice and easy, hands off the wheel, track's nice, the steering wheel's all lined up where it's supposed to be. Power brakes feel nice, barely have to touch the pedal to slow down. Pressure's up to about 45 pounds, just kind of cruising right here. Let's see if it goes up a little bit more when we step on it. Get up on I-5 here, head south, drive by Traeger's Clubhouse. We'll show you a shot of it going by. Yeah, this thing's a lot of fun. So Speedo says we're doing about 70, just over 70, just over 3,000 RPMs. bouncing around. <laughs>
much as I did driving it. I think this is the first time I've driven this car. That's a great car. clubhouse nothing too exciting to show you we got a model a and a 55 GMC pick pickup sitting outside but should have more cars out so nice out today we hope you enjoyed this short video on this beautiful 1963 Corvette split window Call us.